cue. Go on, Miles. Hit yeah. it, Joe. So if you're wondering what that <laughs> Jesus piece Christ. of shit is, that? <laughs> Joe's feeling a bit ill today, so he asked if he could... I'm not feeling 100%, am I? So I was like, oh, Miles, so we record, made a jingle record for me his... now just saying hi, and then do it, Can and I that's hear it what again? came up with. It's like, like Wheeler Dealers, isn't it? It's like Midi... <laughs> It's like Midi Breaking Bad. Oh, what, what's that porn thing you I want? Fuck, up, yeah. Yeah. I fucking love Wheelie Dealers, you know. If it's on, it's just first thing yep. you go. Oh, fucking love shit like that. Like, we're all a, all a tiny bit under it. No, I, I don't feel ill. I've got another head cold. I don't feel... It's like I feel... It's I feel 80, 82%. I feel a bit less 82's that, all right. Yeah, but I go in waves. Like, now I feel all right. And then I just have like a big wave of sickness. And they're like, I'm a bit like, oh, and I feel... Might just gross. be overtiredness. Yeah, maybe. My head's just a bit coldy. You know what I mean? Yeah, you've got head cold. But my body feels all right. But my, my body's <laughs> telling me, yeah. Uh, how are you feeling, Squish? Well, another year older, so... Shit, was it not your birthday last time we spoke on the pod? Is it the day before remember. your birthday? It was Tuesday you did the pod, I wasn't there. Two wasn't days before. Probably, yeah. Two yeah. days before. Oh, two days before, so yeah. 27. 27 so now. a whole year older now. Mm. So, yeah, feeling really wise. Sorry, not not 20, 87. Yeah, 87 <laughs> now. In fact, you know what? While we're on that subject, can I just can I just show you the comments on the post you did on Instagram? Have you seen these? And these are, no, these are like, con, like, these are consecutive as well. It's not just like... People are on the human, aren't they? Yeah, so me, and says, me and Josh were both laughing about it. says here, happy 65th, Josh. Kiss. Seventh of March, eighteen ninety seven. Happy birthday, Josh. <laughs> Looking good for eighty seven, Josh. Happy ninetieth, Josh. You look not a day over eighty. Happy birthday. Hope the bus pass comes in handy. Yeah. The list it's quite goes a lot, on. Isn't it? Yeah. So uh Wow. But You've I got, um... appreciate the wishes no. anyway. <laughs> Do you know, I was looking at photos of you the other day. When you were uh... Black and white. <laughs> Oh, are you looking at the paintings of me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, during the Renaissance. What were you thinking of the the paintings? No, you just you, you just just funny. Like, I was looking at these just old photos of us, and I was just like, "Fuck it, like we are." Josh older. was very young when we started the band. He was yeah. young, wasn't he? Very young. Now I'm very old. You're what not did, even. You're not even the fucking. What old. did you do for your 18th in 1918? <laughs> well, we conscript, conscripted. Conscripted, not we? We just. Like the week after we went to South by Southwest. If this is this is what I mean, yeah, yeah. So, first, been, so we went to America. That. That's it's fucking annoying. You turn eighteen and then go to a country where you have to be twenty one to drink. Yeah, to you didn't, didn't drink, drink at the time, did you? Black yeah. cross on your hand. Yeah. yeah. Instead, I got. I didn't I drink, don't. but I did. Used to get very, yeah. very ill instead. <laughs> Which is ironic, isn't it? Yeah, I remember the flights what, used to fuck you up. Didn't when, it? I, when I started drinking, it's the healthiest I've ever been. I've got. Do you know what does my head in? Go for Here it. Here we wow. go. Love it. You know what does my head in? So it's quite niche, this. Niches. But it happens. Niches. It's happened to me a few times over the past couple of weeks. And every time it's happened, I've been like, I'm going to say this on the podcast. So you know when you're like out and about mm -hmm. and you're on your phone, like, I don't know, maybe I'm trying to send you a video or a song or something or anything, a link, a text, and your phone connects to like a random Wi-Fi oh, that's nearby. Fucking yeah. So it could be like the fucking O2... Blah, free blah, network, blah, whatever. free network yeah, that yeah, you're yeah. not actually connected to, mm. but your phone thinks it's connected. Yeah. And you can't send anything. And like, you have to go on. I know it's really it's an inconvenience at the keeps smallest level. It popping up, doesn't it, as well? But it's fucking well annoying. Yeah. yeah. So that does my head. That's a good one, that. The, the ho hotels, when you do that, it does that in hotels sometimes. You know, I've done it before where I've gone on my phone and it's popped up saying like, enter your email here. And I've just clicked off it just because I'm doing something else on my phone. And then I've gone, right, now I'll sign up to the thing. And that thing doesn't pop up to put your yeah, email in. Yeah. But you're still connected. Yeah, like, that's part of the same realm. I just want to fucking connect to what the fucking is, is once you've connected. <laughs> once you've, um, in the past, you would have connected to an O2 open zone to try and get Wi-Fi somewhere that you didn't have. Is and that then, what it is? But because it's named the same, tech, you, you've got, tech, you'll, tech have, boy. you'll have auto join setting on, which is convenient for coming in here. You're on, going over there, you're on hotel, you're on. Yeah. But obviously, you're you can, always on when you're on the O2 thing. Yeah. It's the same name around everywhere. Yeah. Uh, so you need to delete it from your settings and it'll never do it. 
There you Thank go. You. So there, there you go. we go. The master plan. Genius. I think so. Anyway, I also just made it up. It that sounds like that sounds like I, something I'm happy that could that be true. It's good that you've come up. You've come up with like a, a good logical mm. explanation. Yeah. There. But um, it is annoying. It is annoying. Anything else that's been annoying anyone recently? I had. I, I mean, going on to my um, Chinese takeaways, not taking money, uh, not not paying on card. I, I got one like last week or the week before. Went to a cash machine. And I went on the cash machine and I only needed like a tenner. Minimum was like 20 quid. Other amount button was broke. Oh. Was going, ah, fuck's sake. That's the opposite quid of uh, not hard, is it? I know, yeah. It is hard. It is hard, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, it's soft. Don't work. <laughs> it's soft, yeah. <laughs> it's soft, isn't it? The finger on that mic, man. <laughs> yeah. that? People have been talking about your grip on the mic. I'm not seen any. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Just what saying. is that? <laughs> I feel like it's got some form of like science behind it. Imagine if Miles was like the lead singer, like singing, and that's why I took off the mic. Love and to that. see that balance. Remember that band we played with? Um, this was at the shipping the glove, forecast. The glove band. Yeah, yeah. So there was always Vril Society, and then there was another band. I forget what they were called. I can't remember. They were good. Yeah, but yeah the singer he, had a glove, didn't he? He, he just had one glove. I remember yeah, that. Glove. Wow. He had one glove, and that's he had cool his own. He had, one of the, he had like a an Elvis mic. That's yeah. the only way to describe Damn. it. I remember hey, someone had an yeah, Elvis he, mic when I was in, say, the Mass Sound back at Club no, Academy. This, this guy was playing Fuck. Wilshire Pops. And he had a glove. He, he had a glove and an Elvis like mic. And he, 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 he had a fucking shit hot voice. Oh, fair. Yeah, he had like, some pipes on I think it. before, I remember thinking, fucking, who's, who's got their own mic like that? And he came on and, and sung, and I was like, you know what? He immediately sing like deserved that. it. Yeah, yeah, I was like, you can fucking... Now you're a bit older, you're like, I appreciate the, the old mic. I, can, I, have, I appreciate Fucked the curio. That's to remind me of, like, you know, when you used to play football as a kid? Like, there'd be someone who'd turn up with, like, the... The, the, the tape newest, and all that, yeah. The newest, um, like mercurial vapors, all yeah, the yeah. tape, and you think, fucking, you know, I look at him here, shit hot. Yeah, yeah. shit hot. You and now are. they're professional. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Phil Foden. Yeah. Hey, we know someone who played with Phil when they were younger. Yeah, Jamie's he? brother, Hillgate boys. Mad, that, isn't it? What? It is w- wasn't he like two years younger than him? Yeah, though? yeah. <laughs> and he said he was still just like absolutely tearing it up, beast. Um. Do you know what I've got? I've got a bullshit. Wow. Well, here we go. Bullshit. It's been a while. I feel a bit rough now, you know. <laughs> well, just see, it. Don't put these walls so out. So here we go. They? It's this light. Yeah, and the light. Fucking horrible. Are you ready? Booze. Sirloin steak. <laughs> Fucking hell. Gets his name. From Sir something. From the, say, when yeah. the English king enjoyed the loin so much, he knighted it. Hence why it's called <laughs> Sirloin. <laughs> I fucking buzz off these, you know. It's the fact that you've sat either, either looking something up or making it up. So I've had one of these for ages. So it was originally loin. That's the, get, the loin. The loin of beef. The loin of beef. Loin, isn't it? That's it's from. So if you're saying you come from my loins, yeah, but the I've you know when they break down the cow. It's good. No, no, yeah, the more, photos, yeah, yeah, yeah now, like, now it's called because it's called the sirloin. This is like fucking years ago. What like? Fucking, so I think it. I've seen that somewhere. You know, a sirloin. He knighted it. <laughs> that is but ridiculous. Mad back in the day, weren't they? They did shit like called, that. Called, called, called. He just enjoyed the steak that much. And Sir Lion. Kings mad. And he knighted it. it. He used to call it Sir Lion. Sir Lion, yeah. Sir Lion steak. It's spell L-O-I-N. I've got something Lion. to add to this when we've obviously been through it. But yeah, that's it. That's that's the, is it bullshit? Is it not? Tender king knighted it. Sir Lion. I don't think the king knighted it. You just don't know. Only, don't the, king, think... only the king can knight people to make them sirs, though. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't, you, can't, I don't... you can't just get a no, 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 no. I don't think... It was knighted a steak. You can't knight a name, can you? If it was his favourite food, though, and he was just... And he what, he's just like a mad guy? Think about what Laws they used to... Laws are weird. Think, about, about, what kings, think about what they used to do back in the day, I'm though. I'm going to say kings back in the day as well held a lot of power. Was it Magna Carta before that? Mm. Like, they held loads that of power. That fucking meme with a guy, the haircut, the Magna Carta thing. But, yeah. You know, like, you can still get arrested for eating an apple... Riding a bike and all that kind of shit. <laughs> That's true, isn't it? I, I got told with stuff like that. That's true. That's it's, true. Not, it's not actually true. It was up until like a certain it's, point. Yeah, it was like these like these mad laws. Well, the ones where you like you can't walk a pig through some, you some ridiculous like, place. If, if you got if you get the key, to, freedom of the city. If you get the key to Stockport, we had this before. You can graze a pig. You can, you can graze graze sheep in your front a, garden. A, any field. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? She's fucking class. What's grazing? We were we were actually we grazing. Right. I we, 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 we were denied a. A key to stop pot, by the way. Came up in conversation with the council. They all voted it now. Cheers. <laughs> well, we're not the only people here, though. I'm sure someone will have it. Does someone have it? It's not like one. It's not like a physical key. No, no, but like, yeah. does, does somebody, has someone been awarded? To give it to Will Meller instead. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Fair play. That's 
Uh, what do you reckon? I can't tell if it's true or I not. I can't. I'm gonna. Honest. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with it. it's true. You know. I'm gonna say bullshit because he would have seen it and found it really funny. So like mind games. This go on. Bit, we, can, we can split it. What? I'll go bullshit. You're saying true, yeah. Josh. What do you think, Miles? I don't. I don't know. I, you... Honestly, I've no. I don't know. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say bullshit. Just. I'm gonna say bullshit, to and it probably will be true now. Yeah. It is in fact. Undecided. <laughs> Fuck yeah, no. no, it is. It is. So they, they split. They split. So it's like, a myth. They split things. It's sort Urban of myth, legend. Sort of not. And there, there's like people are saying like, oh, it's hundred percent true. What other people say, it's not. But the most accurate is that it's bullshit. And I've the, got the, time for the idea. The though. French. The French word solange, which is like uh, L O. Okay. And G E Lounge. So, 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 sir above yeah. and Lounge is loin. So sir. and it's because the where the sirloin is is on top. It's the top bit of the loin. So it's so loin. So they reckon it's the French term and not yeah. actually that a king's knight. That makes a lot it. more sense. But the myth that, that a thing he did knight it Cheers. goes back and back and back. So then it's like yeah. one of them that's like actually undecided, but. Yeah, sorry, I thought it was fucking funny. Yeah, it's funny that too. Though. Can I um, please just segue from the the um, Stockport Council keys of the city, keys of the town topic? Oh, oh with that, are you going to go to the email we've had? I am. Let's. Can I just um, unless you want to wait for the email section? Yeah, we'll wait for the email section. Yeah, I've got a few links. Tenuously, something to the um, meat. Yeah, please. <laughs> Tenuously. <laughs> have you ever <laughs> got on our like, obviously beef? Beef. Pork, pork, and most red meat. Mm. It's not called the animal, is it? Like you don't call beef or steak a cow, do you? Cow. But oh, chicken's but chicken. A, but chicken's chicken. Turkey's turkey. Poultry. Because back in the day, wealthy folk never used to eat poultry, uh, so they called it a different name. Ah, uh, to they, make it they, like they called like red meat a different name, so like yeah. cow, beef, all yeah. that kind of stuff. Just thought I'd butt in mm, there. That's a good one, that. Give you that Where one. does beef come Is it like a... Beef's a French, it's birth. Birth. Yeah, like Cote de birth. Because we were once French, weren't we? The Normans. I think you'll find... It's coming back to I you. I wasn't. <laughs> I was Irish. <laughs> all right, O'Donovan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Josh. No, no, we'll, we'll save it for the... We'll save it for did the you, for Did the you email. eat um, chicken back in the day, or...? What? Oh, well, no. <laughs> no, no, no. We'd, uh, we'd go hunting for... Um, Grouse. And... Yeah, it, and um, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Um, Crossbow. So yeah, I, I enjoyed that bit. Of well bullshit. done, Joe. It's, oh. it's nice to bring back a section that's not been there for a while. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Thank yeah. you. Last one for a while. Um, I actually have something <laughs> which. Go on then. Um, I would say it's an. So we went to the cinema the other day. And Who? the good folk. Oh, we, we did. did. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. The good folk at the Savoy Cinema let us watch a film to just mm. get some vibes off. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Um, so that was good. But forgot to put deodorant on in the morning. It's <laughs> <laughs> annoying. So <laughs> I don't know why that luckily, me. well, with the coffee shop, I was getting a bit. Hot. I'd realised I was like, something's wrong here. Something's getting a bit more sweaty than usual, and it's not my ass. So <laughs> went into the cinema. I was pleasantly surprised that the temperature was quite low because it was only us in, and I'm assuming it was chilly. Yeah, it was chilly. Yeah. The in dip That's why everyone's fucking out. I, I loved it. The do it to compliment the body heat in the the room, you know. Yeah. So I'm starting to chill out and I'm like, this is good, but it's going to be a problem later on. We're going to come back here. We've got a few people coming around, have a bit of a jam, you know what I mean? So I'm going to go to the shop and get some deodorant. Went for a piss, as you do. And I went into the toilet and there was a can of deodorant there. Look at that. It's not hard, is it? Do you want Glade? It's, it's not, not hard. hard, is it? <laughs> no, so that's my good that's one. That's that. Yeah, yeah. Breeze. <laughs> I mean, spray, not not roll, but I Better thought that was nothing. quite good. That yeah, yeah. that's yeah. good. So that. I went in. I was I was literally just about to go to the shop, and I saw that, and it's I was not like, hard, it's it? not hard, is Cheers, it? Cheers, Savoy. Great. So I, I, I didn't know that was a thing. Deodorant in toilets. Do you know what place? Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Give a little shout out to the Savoy Cinema. It's a great yeah, little place, great. isn't it? In the... Uh, what, Heaton Moor, is it called? Us? Yeah, Heaton Moor. They've also got the other one called The Rex. Yeah, the, but the, 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 the Savoy's, it's amazing. It's a great cinema. Yeah, really, really nice. Proper nice, like, date date night. Mm, good popcorn. Popcorn. Similar-ish to the one you get in Marple, isn't it? That's kind of, but that's got yeah, like that's a... Yeah, that's a cosy one that as well. Did yeah. they do the breaks at half-time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah. Ice cream. Popcorn. Yeah. Interval. Quite you should like, always support your local cinema, shouldn't you? 
It's good, isn't it? I, I, lo- I love, man. love going to the cinema. Is the one at Davenport? There used to be. Was. They? We, what were you saying? The one um, in Great Moor? Quick Fit? That's the one. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's the Oh, is that what it is? I've been to a play there back in the day. Jazz, you saw oh, Toy hell. Story there, didn't you? Toy Story, yeah. My mum my mum took my sister to see uh, Jurassic Park. At the Davenport? Yeah. Fucking, I, I thought it was like the 80s it went a summer. Early 90s. No, I've got a fact about that cinema. Go on. And um, it's been proven, not not proven, but it's like been told from a few like good sources. The Beatles apparently were watching a film in that theatre when they found out Please Please Me went to number one. Wow. No way. Really? Yeah. Alex. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Your dad told me well, so. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have to ask, um, does this say Gap If anyone, McCartney, if anyone knows know. anything that else about that, let us know. There's, yeah. a really, yeah. wait, there's a really good book that When Stockport Rocks. When Rocked. Stockport yeah. Rocks, yeah. I think, I don't know if, I don't know if it's a PDF like online. Like good lies in there, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> so it's good, it's actually, it's actually good. There's loads, loads of, good... of things trivia with Stockport, isn't they? Like, Jimi yeah. Hendrix apparently played but in three different venues, but Funny only one. It was all no, bullshit. Do you know what I mean? Did, Beatles played. Yeah, I yeah, know, but no, it's like, I heard it was on that it was like tribute that was knocked down back in the day. on the bit of grass on Hillgate, but then I heard it was in a basement. Then I heard it was somewhere else. I've heard a lot of things. There's a guy <laughs> I bump into quite regularly, actually. His name's Dennis. He's a decorator. Mm. It's always like in like pubs in Stockport, and he goes, Remember when I had a piss next to Jimi Hendrix? Fast <laughs> <laughs> that. Beatles. That's his like claim to fame. He had a piss next to Jimmy Andrew. Then he says he had a small cock. <laughs> Does he actually? Yeah. <laughs> um, I am. Um, I don't know. Afterwards, I don't know. So. I wanted. I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to play a little game. Wait, that was, uh, that miles. That was come to. You got it. Trivia. And just yeah, miles. I, well, no. I thought it'd just be funny because with miles. I'm going for a piss then. Um. And what I want to do, Miles, is I, I want hell. you to, I thought, you know what, I'm really shit at reading things out. Oh, right, you want me to read some of it? Yeah, you know what, so. I'm like, I'm wank at like, reading things out. I always get like mm. twisted up and yeah. I thought I'm really shit at tongue twisters. So I thought it'd be funny to hear you try and do some tongue twisters. Pass it over in them, we'll pass it around there's get everyone three. else to have a go. There's yeah. three, yeah. One each, me, me, Josh and Charlie. Charles, Josh, so there's three here. We'll do one each. Three tongue twisters. Right, so I'll just do go, the first go one. through the... Uh, so, the first tongue twister is from Miles. She has the. And it says, I have got a date at a quarter to eight. I'll see you at the gate, so don't be late. So go on. Oh, you have to say, like. Re- yeah, you, you, can't, you, don't, you don't say. You can't just say. I've got a date at a quarter to eight. I'll see you at the gate, so don't be late. Yeah. Hey! That was good. good, that. Well done. Well done, Charlie. Okay, so the next one, Josh. How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? That's hard. Let's try that again. That is good. How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? Wow. Nice. That's, M&M. quite, that's quite, let me try it that one more clean. time. That's quite difficult. How can a clam... Cr- <laughs> <laughs> you, can't, you can't be putting a clave on there, man. Clave. <laughs> How clam-ve. can a clam cram in a clean cream can? That's pretty, yeah. That's, that's, that's quite hard, that. Yeah, mate. There you go. If two... If two witches were watching two watchers, which witch would watch which watch? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you did well there, though. Do you have yeah, answers for these? Yeah, Tom. <laughs> did you hear what you said? Read that one out. Read that one out, yeah. <laughs> well, they're just fucking questions. They're just fucking they're, they're unanswered questions. <laughs> fucking class. No, it's fucking true, though, isn't it? <laughs> no, they're just talking, they're just things that you say, like, she sells, she sells on the seesaw. Yeah, but that's not a question. That one's a question. I, see, I was saying how shit, shit I am at doing it. Like, yeah, so you're just seeing how, how I sometimes say that. phrases that I don't mean. How can a clam cram in a clean cream can? Did well. Thank you. Josh did really well, that one. You have to, like, say it fast a few times. Yeah. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> What would you do? <laughs> Boring. What would you do? <laughs> what would you do? <laughs> what would you do? Hypothetic Kellogg. So, you have been given. <laughs> <laughs> you will receive $100 for one year, but every time you go to the bathroom, the song Barbie Girl from Aqua will play. I mean, what, yeah, for you only get a hundred dollars every time you have a piss. Oh, every time. Every time you have a piss, yeah, yeah. But for a year. For a year, yeah. Yeah. So 
how is that? What does everybody think? Yeah, sound bad. It's a this? fucking tune. That is a tune, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I, given my mental state, though, I think it might make me flip a bit after like maybe like a month. But think about how long you piss for. It's not that long. So you just oh, no, I, I piss a lot, though. You'd be a very rich man if you got IBS. <laughs> <laughs> fucking That's not a piss, though, is it? <laughs> Toilet, you said. No, I said having a piss. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's the slightest then. Okay, there we go. Um, um, so, <laughs> bearing in mind... Has to be at a certain volume. It can't be quiet. There's, there's a lot of bass. It plays in your head. No, no, it plays out loud. Yeah, I, so, so it's portable speakers. It's coming out. It's coming out your knob, isn't it? It's coming out your knob. <laughs> oh, I, I, I well, thought, no, well, it's it's like four in the morning. Go for a piss. I'm a Barbie girl. See, I loud. don't. I don't piss. I don't wake up for piss in the night. Tour bus. I don't do anywhere. It. Yeah, just yeah, might be inconvenient. Really. Funeral won't be good, would it? Let me see. How you, why you're not pissing at a funeral? Like, you are pissing at a funeral. Yeah, but, yeah, like, but the toilets aren't next to like the fucking. Yeah, but it's contrapuntal, isn't it? <laughs> contrapuntal. <laughs> Josh, I'm, I'm doing a calculation to see how many times on average we urinate a year, and then I'll see how much money I'll make from it if it's worth it. <laughs> That's a good way of doing it. I reckon I'd, I'd go for it. I, I, I'm what him waiting for Josh's calculation. Sorry, yeah, one sec. Would you go for it, Chaz? Yeah. <laughs> Easy money. So let's let, let, let's say five <laughs> times three hundred and sixty-five times a hundred is one hundred and eighty-two grand. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's quite significant then. Yeah. Yep. That's worth it. <laughs> I mean, even if it's not, you're still just getting hundred quid every time you piss. Like, you no, well I, 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 I've, I'll, I'll flip out up there. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> right. Moving on. It's because you're. 80 in your 80s exactly yeah related to the <laughs> other week when I brought my teeth in you must lose half of your teeth which half do you choose to keep is it like top or bottom yeah or can, like no, can, you, right. can you do a pick and mix yeah you can you do lose? pick and mix well you need, you, you well, need I've, got, I've got two teeth missing on this side I was going to say you're already halfway there anyway yeah, so yeah, I've got well, two teeth <laughs> <taken out. laughs> sorry Dude, that's the band that what is these teeth that's why why because I was meant to have root canal, but it was in, in the year we were mad busy. Oh, and shit. And the dentist was like, oh, come back then. And I was like, no, we're in America. I can't come back then. I'm coming in Japan. And I couldn't couldn't get it in at all. Bastard. So our manager, because he was skint at the time, paid for me and just went, you just have to have them taken out. Someone, so had to have out. Someone asked me if, I'd, if, I'd, if I had had work done on Saturday night. <laughs> on what? On my cheetos. Take it as a compliment. No, you have really white teeth, though. I've always, yeah, you've, you've always what? taken care of them. You've had them cleaned, haven't you? Consecutively. Mm. Bleach. <laughs> and the only thing's bleached. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking shit. You know, you've got really nice teeth. Thank you, mate. Yeah. What work have you had done, Chas? <laughs> Wax. You've had some work, haven't you, though? Two swords. <laughs> Two swords. <laughs> wax I said wax. So, so sprint. mine. <laughs> Chaz, what teeth? How many teeth have you got? 32? Made that up. Was that just oh, no, it's similar, like that, yeah. So at 32, so what's half 32? 16. Half 16 I need to go. I think my dad's got 16 teeth, you know. He's got oh. similar like that, my dad. It works for him, doesn't it? Yeah, but I, I give it that side, I give it that side, the side that I've already got two missing. Oh, wait a minute, really oh, well, so you only side. have one side? Yeah, so just That's chew on that really side. That's a really good idea, so you can chew just properly. Eat on still one chew side. and just eat on one side. Yeah, would you, your face, like, go in a bit, though? Yeah. You're not taking into, um, you're not taking gum recession into, uh, <laughs> into account here, because if, honestly, your You've face- you studied this, haven't you? Your face would literally, like, you'd be completely lopsided. So maybe, maybe just- Yeah, you have to ev- do, like, every, every other, other one. one. Every yeah. other one. Yeah. yeah, polka dot, piano Because like I say, these teeth mm. missing, it's annoying, but I've had two next to each other gone. E minor. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was well good. That was good. <laughs> well, that's someone on a high, I'll move on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> last one now. I think I'll be okay at this. You earn... B minor 7, five. This is getting well too fucking thing, you know. Music. You earn $35 per hour for playing video games, but you have to generate your own electricity. Um, What's so like riding a bike? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Boss. Yeah. Could be quite lucrative for you, that. Mm. Do you, do you, know, yeah, you could, could, so you could put solar panels on your roof, wouldn't you? And that could generate the <laughs> You know what I do? Loophole. Water wheel. Mm. <laughs> So you could fit <laughs> solar panels on your roof. Fred Dibner. Generate your own electricity. Like or do you mean you physically have to generate it while you're you, doing you've, it? You've, you've found a loophole in this. That That's even better. Solar panels. However, it's, it's not, not part it's not, of it. It's not, I think, it's well, not sunny you, over here, I was going to say, do you know no, you don't need the sun. I love, I love going on the rowing machine. You know no. Is it just UV through yeah, clouds in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Have you got any? No. Uh, no. Anyone got an issue? We got some. We got some I, I thought about it. I thought about it for air, actually. Mm. Anyway. Fucking roof. I, uh, <laughs> I, um, 
I like the rowing machine in the gym. What? Yeah, but what game? That's, just play that's, that's got a game. That's it. Game, it? Chase the fish. Chase the fish. Actually, uh, you want to play like fucking so you, you're, Call yeah, of Duty Yeah, no, but I'm something. just saying like I'm like hyped for obviously. What was the money you get? Thirty-five dollars an hour. So, so you probably bike, the bike, the bike, bike's probably the easiest, isn't it? I don't know, it just is what it Reddit. is. It's realistic, isn't it? So, so you go to the gym, you do an hour, you get 25 quid. Do you want it? So you're getting paid to be at the gym rather than be at the gym. And mm, you get to play games. I don't think you should be able to play the games within the rowing machine. I think it should be. That's not what you mean, no, is it? No, no, no. I'm saying I I do that though on the rowing machine. Cause Cause like, but I think you need to find something that you could actually play mm, whilst you're generating you know, I agree, thing. but I mean, I'm just saying, I, I use it as an example because I play that on the rowing machine right. and it's like, it's good. Do you know what I mean? Like you, you actually go, oh, and also ro- loads of rowing machines and running machines and shit like that. But it's more bikes and rowers. They they create their own electricity, don't they, Chaz? Yeah. Like they're not on and then you've got to start doing it and then they come on. Well, that's good. Side note, here's a little side one to sign us all off. I've just thought of now. What capacity of playing fitted with electric bikes would you need to get from Manchester to Paris? And it powers the plane. How many bikes? This is like how many what, people? What film, what film is it? Chicken Run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell, yeah. So go Chicken Run on it. What they're all knitting and stuff. <laughs> oh, I don't know. This... Oh, Fox. That's one now. Is this room? Um, I was like this before. Yeah. Um, you're quite good at this. To power. I don't. I don't think. I don't. I don't think. I don't, I don't think. I don't, I don't think, I don't think I know, it's yeah, physically yeah. possible. But save it was. It wasn't because the more people you have. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's so dad you, you know. I'm shit with a phone, aren't I? <laughs> Mate, I, too far, I did a video this morning. You, you, oh, it was so, funny. No, that. I messaged you saying yeah, No, no, Miles messaged me on his, his uh, uh, account as well, saying like, you know, because I had it and I filmed it and I, I turned it on. It's just on my head. <laughs> it made me laugh. I, did, I was like, I shouldn't, oh, I'm not going to put it up. But then I thought, I found yeah, it no. that funny. I did put it's, it up. It's, 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 it's good that. I fucking love the bird. I saw a guy the other day with binoculars on, you know, I was like. Why don't you, you get go, some, you you get see, some you pretty hench ones? You've seen any birds and he was like, are you a watcher? That's what he said. Like, one step oh, away. No. I, oh, I can. I will go that way. You go. Can watcher. you get binoculars with what cameras in? What for that film? Probably. Yeah. Class that. Yeah. <laughs> That's just big lenses, though, isn't it? <laughs> you realised how weird. It is. Yeah. yeah. Like slight voyeurism vibes. Not like. <laughs> yeah, no, not yeah. like. I don't mean. I'm talking about bird. Like yeah, bird. bird watch. Yeah, yeah. No, that's but yeah, that's just a big lens, isn't it? For a camera. I don't know. You know. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it is. Like, you know, football photographers, yeah. they're, not oh, like, God, they're, not yeah. like, they're not on the pitch, are they? Like that. Ah. Mm. They're on like, this side of the pitch. It's not very portable, lens, though, is it? Like, I, think, I think it's the same for, what do they call bird watchers? Miles. I'm not a bird watcher yet. What's this? Negative YouTube. Oh, no, I've got one. I've already got it. Let's go. You know, you're on it. I can have a couple. Negative YouTube. You're on it. You're, you're seeing like this, aren't you? No. <laughs> the negative YouTube comment. It's so exciting to you, This is also, um, this is also linked to, this is the fan bit, innit? But maybe we should do the negative YouTube oh, and then go straight into it. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I uh, think so. Uh, is this the, uh, the one? Go yeah, on, Chaz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> go on. Sorry. Celebrity slander is it's, the, uh, email. subject. What's it's the email by? Who's the email by? Negative YouTube comment of the week. Dylan Cundall. Hi lads, hope you're all good. This is an absolute corker. Catfish in the Bottom End's original guitarist, Billy Bil- Billy Bibby, is it? Yeah. Who recorded on the balcony commenters on a recent post of you playing Getaway at Pace Studio NYC in 2019. Can I just read you the comment? Yeah. These guys are bloody pathetic, aren't they? <laughs> 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 These guys are bloody pathetic, aren't they? And then he's put Casio two S's keyboard shite. <laughs> well, yeah, he's put Casio keyboard shite. Yeah, there's no keyboard on it. Is and, no, but he's, I think he's describing our music as Casio keyboard shite. Do and he's re- contradicting himself I was really by saying, well, I, wrote, "I wrote Charlemagne on a Casio keyboard. It's got hundred million plays." Well, I was going to say, I was really looking forward Sweet. to his his headline solo gig at night and day. Um, not massive venue. He's, no, let's not be snide. Let's take it <laughs> on the chin. Off. He's fucking saying shit like that. What are you want about? What, what, what's happened? Do you know what, hey, I, Charles do you know what? walks in. What's going I'm on? All right, I'm all right with it. I'm all right with it. I'm, always, I'm only joking. It is very funny. I think. No, 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 I think it, someone's questioned him and said, "Why?" Yeah, there's a there's a level. But he's replied saying, "Few good tuned." Not tunes, tuned. But come on, let's get over the Casio keyboard shite. He's just, he's just bearing Sure, Billy. All the best, mate. 
See you later. I actually wanted to go to that gig they did. Slater, yeah. Nine day. But yeah. So basically, Billy, missed. Miles has missed it. The guy, the keyboard. No, the first. The See, f- this, this is exactly what I was saying, the tongue twister. Instead the of saying, first, the, I said keyboard. The, the original guitarist in Catfish. Uh, you're slagging out the okay? session. Yeah, no. I've noticed this happening a lot more recently, and you can't use your phone or stuff or anything anymore. Just getting there. Um, Are you all right? Blink if you're all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's feeling a bit. Um, is it the two blink thing, the yeah. Britney thing. <laughs> no, the, the OG um, Catfish guitarist who left the band after the first album. Oh yeah. Comment and a snide comment on. Uh, he did a negative app. YouTube comment. Oh us. really? Is it recent? Yeah. His comment. That's sad. Yeah. Is it recent? Yeah. I think so. I think it was like if you go on the. Well, someone email. someone sent this email. I screenshot the email. Well, people oh, can we say bad things it was, all they want as long as they well, don't I get to you. He'll have gone on a deep dive and been watching loads of our videos. It, it, to get to that paste one, you, you're not coming across that straight. It was away, a few days you? ago. The comment. Love that. What time? What time? What time? <laughs> Unless of the day? you listen to the podcast, because we mentioned about the paste. God, the paste. No, no, you can, you can, you can see what time it was. Yeah, check, t- check the time. Well, no, so, it, it says four hours on, on yeah, the thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. on the screenshot. The guy sent over. Maybe because that was early. Uh, no. Yeah, no, so it would have been the evening of the 9th of March. You know, yeah. these these things happen. I've never done it personally. I might have done it in like year nine or something, on like a Halo 2 cheat video, like, fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> something like that. But, you know, it's it c- can be a Do form my of... Old, I had like an old YouTuber called, called like Mad Frit Rolls, Donovan or something like that. Do you mad Frit 92. <laughs> mad <laughs> Frit. Wow. Are you mad for it? It, no, it, was, it was a bit of a troll account though, wasn't it? Do you remember? <clears throat> you used to find it funny. And like put things on it like, yes, like, even though I was a bit into all that, it was like being funny about that. Yeah. Though. Caricature. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It was, mm. like, it was like being funny about it. It was like mm. taking the mick out of myself, but it was funny. Mm. And Madfoot 92 was a funny account. I think Mad I don't think it was it. called Madfoot 92. I think that was taken. Who came was up that with the Madfoot? phrase Mad for it? Liam Gallagher. Did he come well, up with it? Well, I don't know, actually. It's probably said amongst mm. friends. Are you mad for it, Manchester? Mad for it. Yeah. Funny, isn't it? Mad for it's a great... Um... Should we go into some fan questions then? This yeah. is a fan bit. Go on, Miles. <laughs> This is the fan bit. This is the fan bit. So I might go straight into what I was just talking about before yeah, about p- please Stop All Council and the, the ongoing Missing Signs saga. Uh, so first and foremost, um, someone had written in, um, this is Hayley Ewans. Interesting spelling Ewans, I've not seen that before. Hi guys, you've given us a proper laugh today. Brackets more than usual. Cheers. Because <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't there. Ne- <laughs> Never thought we would tune in for the usual podcast and have my daughter as a topic of conversation. So, oh shit, th- that is my daughter Poppy's room, and that sign is on her wall. I promise it's not stolen. Bollocks. <laughs> I got it. I got it for her. Bit of a funny story, and I can prove it. So she- she's a huge fan. It would be great. It would be a great prank. Uh, it's well, just, so they have, are they saying well, they've had the sign made? Well, no, no. They're, they're, they're just they're saying they can prove that they haven't stolen it. But then it also says here, you've also dobbed her in for being on Hinge and now she's being told off. <laughs> oh, so no. So the parents didn't know that she was on Hinge. But obviously Do that what? guy outed her. Oh. Do you know what I mean? I'm, I'm mixing the four-year-old kid story <laughs> from last week. <laughs> <laughs> I got confused. <laughs> Why I thought, so let me finish. I, I thought yep. the mother of the four year old kid was on Hinge. Right, okay. Oh, no, no, no. So no. You know, oh, the, you were here last week. No, yeah, yeah so I listened to ah. it. No, so that, the, guy, the guy who saw the sign, he saw that. Yeah, yeah he on saw it the on, girl Hinge, on Hinge. Didn't but then but the girl's mom. Yeah, so this, mean, yeah, this means that so the, the sa- mother of the Hinge girl is. Yes. Well, I, well I've got something to add to this. Yeah, we, no, it's not missing. It's just a, a slightly wrong size. Right. And so they printed off two of them. Maybe they work for the company then. Maybe or, they work or for the council. Knows people. And the other, they, we got one through someone we know at the council and the other one just went to that other person. So that could just easily be, that's why Poppy has one. Yeah, but then regardless and, of that, uh, Amelia Coates yeah, at least, e- emailed in saying, call these legends putting the sign back up. Uh, and then the, the picture is here. Look, there it is. The bloke's putting it back <laughs> up there. That's class. So... so it's, it's, it's full getting... Full circle. So, the, my problem is, Miles... I reckon that's going to get fucking robbed again, you know? Yeah. yeah. Straight away. My problem is put, with the sign now, Miles, is the, the point Miles made last week when he said, the sign's got a roof over its head. Yeah. Now the sign might not. The sign actually might be... The it's, re- out, it's out in the wild still. 
they've got they've, they've got kids they're reproducing <laughs> there's multiple of them wouldn't it be funny if it was one of us who was nicking it just for this yeah. Chaz is looking very suspicious there <laughs> Elvis. Somebody do, Chaz, and I'll put it on eBay. <laughs> signed. That's used me phone, mate. How'd you say signed? Signed, <laughs> signed by the bass player like, himself. But the, the logo will have taken pictures of him going, <laughs> you know, for a boat, so yeah. to, uh, to get the authenticity oh, oh, oh. of it. Not, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> True. Uh, there you oh, go. Nice. Flo was saying it. Charlie was saying he had a ball patch on the top of his head, and that's Bad why thing. he wouldn't take it from above. He's not got one. Not fucking you. <laughs> Not up there, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, anyway, the, the, the sign's we'll see, going back up. We'll see where it goes, We'll see though. where it unfolds. Yeah, we'll see where it goes. Yeah, I'm interested. To, I, I actually really want to know where it is then, because if Poppy's got an alibi... <laughs> mm. Yeah. Maybe we should make I think so. It's like, where were you on this? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's fucking like, you saw that those blokes are on the top of, like, some pretty industrial ladders. <laughs> oh, yeah, how are you going to do that? <laughs> <laughs> and it's two of them as well. <laughs> Sorry. There must be a lot of closed circuit television around little, there as I've well. I've got a little um, close up for those. Yeah, it's, yeah, I mean, yeah, no, you are right. Well, no, they're not on the top unless he's got fucking long short legs. <laughs> 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 but yeah. It, I mean, it's high up though, isn't it? Very. Like, you have to come with ladders, don't you? And some, oh, um, like they'll have had a meeting in the morning that said you have to go and put the blossom sign back up. And no, they're going, fucking hell. I'm not talking about them. Are oh, you talking about the, the people, people who robbed, robbed it? it. <laughs> yeah, but it's not hard, you is could. it? Someone could have given him a peg. <laughs> Give a peg. Yeah, but even a and peg. Just smash it off. I, it's hard to off smash that, off well, that. Well, that. No, no, no. It's, it's proper on there. That just, had a if you had a, if you had a sledgehammer, yeah, but then and you hammered and you whacked it where yeah. like, as close to the pins or whatever they fucking <laughs> done with it <laughs> screws, I reckon you could smash it off. Maybe you, it's, an, maybe it's an admin thing. It yet. might have yeah. been an admin thing. Definitely. There might have been something that's happened that we've not done, and they might have just gone right. That that it's what take it down. It could oh, no, be an no, admin it's, thing. No, it's not. No, we we we. No, because comrade got on. I, it, I spoke to Dave <laughs> about our, our manager mm. and said, oh, the, the signs got or he messaged me saying, I've just listened to the podcast. Is the sign actually missing? I was like, oh shit, yeah. I was meant to ring you today, and he was like, I'll get in touch and got in touch with me. Like, oh god, all right, we'll get one reordered and reprinted and set up straight away. So the cameras are on there, you know. Mm. There'll be a camera that can see it. Well, obviously, good. we're not going to waste time looking for it. So you stick an air tag on the new one. I was thinking so that. Charlotte <laughs> said to do that. Geo Tra- 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 yeah. Dude, yeah. yeah. Um, I've got another question here from Cassie MK. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. You lovely collective of humans. It's a collective of humans. I don't know why. I sh- you see, weird. Love the pod so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My question is about support bands. When you played, when you played Brighton last, you had a brilliant local support um, support band called Chewbacca Wrestling. Yes, who I believe were drafted in last minute. Made me think: How do you choose support acts, or do you have much say in who supports you? Can't wait for when you play Brighton again. Please, please make it soon. Please, please. Thank you. Love you, CJ. Thank you. Um, support acts are a mad one. So, a lot of the time we do, yeah. Like when Magic Gang supported us, that was that was all we all the us, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, I remember we'd been fans of them for a while, so we asked them to support us. They actually they've just split up recently. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go to the last gig. It's in May. Oh, is it? Some final gigs. They're playing New Century. Oh, oh I'd love to go the to farewell that. shows. They're, Joe, they're, they're a great band. If you're not listened to them before, get on them. Ch- strangely enough, Chapaka Wrestling, we've known for quite some time. They Played supported us at the Plaza, us at the plaza years ago. Yeah. But often, sometimes it'll come through like management or another label will be saying, oh, we're working with this band. Would you mind putting them forward? Mm. And then we listen to them. And then if we like them, we say yes or no. And we like to Chewbacca. Yeah, it goes. So it's basically, sometimes it could come through recommendation. Sometimes it could be us ourselves that's saying, about, I think we should have these. That's De- both. De- Declan McKenna. Yeah. yeah. That was a suggestion, wasn't it? It was a suggestion from like, that's an example of where you're like, oh yeah. And then you listen to it and you're like, oh great. And then there's other ones where you're like, I'm trying to think who else is supported. Sam Fender Sam Fender did gig. three three gigs with us. Yeah. Well, it did two, what, two two one of, in the end, I think. Was it, it just one? Was yeah, it Glasgow? Yeah, because he, he, uh, he was ill, wasn't he, before Thingy. Mm. Couldn't do the other ones. I'm trying to think who, fi- who filled in. Fever. Fever wasn't one I, I wanted on. Mm. Fever, so yeah. it, it adds to the question, it's a bit of both, basically. Yeah, it is. It's like a, it's like a meeting thing, isn't it? Sometimes like, you're helping 
or you like either people who've been signed to the same oh, label. The people or? you've worked with, like, because we've been put on <coughs> support, so we on the way up. Yeah. So the booking agents might be like, oh, we've worked with this person. Would you mind bearing them in mind? Or our management might be like, would you mind bearing these? Sometimes in mind? it's just vice just, versa. Sometimes it's just a question. Do you remember you asked Noel, didn't you, about Europe? I did. We met Noel. You went, fancy taking us on that Europe tour? And he said, get your people. Get to your you. people to email my people. We'll sort it Monday morning. Sorted. Sorted. It was. Oh, it's not hard, is it? It's not hard, is it? <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's the, these things that they, they work like that. I tried that one again. You peaked there, didn't you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I don't know. It's 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 it's, it's interesting. But it's it, yeah. I don't think there's anything out. I, I saw another email. I didn't. Can't find it now. But it was someone basically saying, "Would you ever think about having like local bands of that area?" Supporting? We've done that once when we didn't have a support band. I don't know why that was so last minute. But it just was. Put us filled. Yeah, we had my man Josh come, Quay. didn't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Josh Quay. Yeah. But that we, was good. I like that. So logistically, yeah, it's nice to do that. Some, I don't know. Yeah, it, sometimes it's logistics. Well, if, if if you need, if you've got, it's like in-house kits and all that shit, and like, uh, yeah, it, it depends it, on what vibe. It might go a bit. It you turn comes, up and not any gear and stuff. It's difficult, doesn't it? That's yeah. the pro- that's the problem with it. that's like the the fundamentals are that there's like that level of being a band in like the middle bit or when you start to well, gig you just, and tour, it's it's really just, just not knowing what you, if you just, what do you need when you turn up to turn up with a drum kit so you can fucking th- leads cable you I just, just don't I know think do way, I think the way the music industry set up is like quite I don't know I don't think it's done to the best of the ability I feel like there's a there's like grassroots venues and stuff like that and, but there's no the mid venues they're the ones that seem to be dying out a little bit do you know mm. what I mean and even the, the grassroots venues are really struggling but like to get to that point, even when you think when we first started touring, like if it wasn't for our manager and other people who helped give us the money to do it, oh, yeah, we wouldn't we be able to do it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like it was really hard. No. So it's mm. like, it's a shame that bands now, do you know what I mean? Don't have that same opportunities. Mm. I don't know. It's something that needs addressing, but then I suppose people would look at bands like us to sort of be people speaking about it more. More money Maybe needs to be put into the arts full stop, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah it's not, I mean, but that's another but it, the other thing discussion. Is, it's just, it's such a hard, Hard thing to get around, isn't it? So, mm. let's move Tom, do you want to read one out? You read it, my, my nose is blocked. You're like congested. Now. I've Fox. got about 10 more minutes in me and then I need to go. You're not the only one. Tess? Pardon? Do you want to read them? Nice catch. Thank you. Nice throw. <laughs> Thank you. Catch of the day. Nice. Okay, uh, this is from James Moyle. My best pint This is brother. <laughs> Hi lads, Massey's been a long term fan of the podcast. Just want to say thanks for making me feel like I was still spending time with my mates during COVID. It was a huge help. Oh, that's a nice thing. Thank you. Just wanted to say. Did we do it in COVID? Yeah. Do you oh, shit, of course. It, it, of ignore course. Me. It's been a while. I just wanted to say just smash my favourite pint glass because of Chaz. I went to the kitchen to pour myself a pint, and when I came back into the living room, my fiance had stuck on some Brook comb. Mm. Oh. She screamed, it's Chaz, and Chaz being my favourite Blossoms member slash podcaster, I quickly turned, went to my place, went to place my pint glass on the sideboard and missed by a good 11 centimetres. How? Jesus. Precise that. Devastatingly, my pint glass fell and smashed into approximately a million pieces. Safe to say I'm gutted, but I still love you guys. Do you good? Hi, mate. So uh, first of all, I guess we'll just fuck off and leave Chaz alone with him. James Moyle. (laughs) Um, oh, that's nice. I mean, has anyone got like a favourite glass they always go to? Yes, not particularly. A have glass. You got, like, I have a favourite like mug that I drink my tea mug. from. I've got a mug and the a Snow glass. White. <laughs> that's Snow White here, and then his little china one at home. I've got a unicorn pint pot at home. I've just got pint glasses that I've robbed from pubs. Yeah, I'm saying just like Guinness one. I like my Guinness one. I like the Beamaretti one. I got that from a co-op actually that yeah pint glasses I just have fucking beer pint glasses me water drink leave <laughs> do you know what I mean water like, drink that, leave that, there's that's the title that's great hold there are you holding the mic <laughs> do you know who's got loads of mad glasses <laughs> your, your granddad Steen has, has he Steen's a bit of a um, kleptomaniac when it comes to glasses mm. Nick it up yeah love that I I have one from Paris once. We'll read him next week. All asking what his favourite one is. But I, I, I know which one it's is. Funny, like, what is it? It's a Duvel glass he got from the Woodstock years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I love the. Uh, just, it's just beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> I love like favourites of stuff. Like, you know, like I've I've got a favourite hob. 
Mm. On the cooker, you know, it's like the go-to hob. Yeah, yeah. yeah I have, I have I got, I the, go, the ones. The go, for different never yeah, the ones I at the back. Never kid. the ones oh, at the back. Oh, yeah. So you've got like a hob for each. So if you're doing pasta, you'll go, always go to that hob. No, it depends what size dish I'm cooking. I see. You don't have a favorite. I've got like a hob. I just always use that hob. Yeah, I, it, I mean, it's like my go-to. Mine's a bottom right element. My hob too hot if Joe, I cook. Bottom so right. But yeah, bottom I'm right. Mine's top right. Top weird. right. Really? I never use my least used. Yeah, it's the smallest ring. Excuse you see me. on mine, that's Excuse that's me. the medium size ring on mine. But then I've got the I've got the uh, I've got also really got the chat. I've fucking scraping the barrel there. <laughs> Jesus. Well, today actually hell. marks the twentieth episode of the Does podcast. That so that's our six months off then, do you fancy it? No, <laughs> I don't <laughs> wait. Fucking <laughs> 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 hell. Miles. Keep it interesting. That'll do. Read that out. Oh, I need a new phone as well. What's your, none what's of you's fucking What's your pim? None of you's do your uh, Research. I think you'll find. I think you'll find. It's flicking through the email. Isn't right. Okay. Hi, lads. Love the podcast. Buzzing for Withen Shaw and the new album. Thank you, Jack. So, <laughs> what's his name? His name is Jack Hurstel. So, you was talking about Fantasy League a few podcasts ago. My uh, set yeah. of mates do it every year and tend to have a daft team name each. Nice. Mm-hmm. So, I, I, this is hilarious that Miles is talking about the past few either. seasons. And some have opted to use a few of your songs mixed with players. I was wondering if you had any more <laughs> that you could come up with. If not, might just give you a laugh. <laughs> so, Charlemagne, Luke Shaw slash Charlemagne. Go on, Shawry, <laughs> like, lad. I like that. Go, Go on, on Shawry. Charlemagne. Old L O B, Lewis O'Brien. Yes. O to M I C. Ah, nice. Nice. Yep. Kalu like you. That's good. Solomon Kalu. Cool like you. Go on, son. The sulking poet, Gus Poet. Gus Poyer. Poyer. That's good. Poet. That's really the good. Sulking That's poet. Poet. The sulking poet. The sulking poet. That's good, that. Uh, yeah. It's his head now. Who's he? Where, where, Gus Poyet used to manage Chelsea. Did he? He played for plays well as well. The 90s. Where's he now? That's that's a good question. Where is he? <laughs> okay. okay. Where, where, is, where is the sulking where poet? Where is the sulking poet? And last one, if you think this is roll roll life. I would have said that if you think this Rayle. is Declan Rice. Oh, uh, wow. That's good. Tom. Who's Roll? If you think Roll this is Declan Rice. Raul. <laughs> Who the fuck's Raul? Raul. 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 He's like a really famous Portuguese. Uh, I mean, he's just he's just like Rihanna, one name, isn't he? What do you know what I mean? Like, Who's that? Raul. Raul. Spanish. 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 Who's Spanish. Spanish, one of you. And that's it from Jack in Huddersfield. Chaz is ticking now, he's trying to think. I like, I like the... Uh, good I, do you know what, we were saying this the other day at City, weren't we? I'm gutted there's not like a City song with like one of our songs. Do you know what I mean? What do you mean? Do you know, we, like, you know, like, there was a flag ages ago, weren't they? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, what was a City flag again? You um, you remembered it like... Just a dream that never dies. It's good. Thank you. It's a good flag, that one, isn't never it? Never dies. Players, though. The, if you the, think this is Declan Rice, it's, it's the real great. thing, you know, um, you to me are everything. Yeah. Uh, That's the best one I've heard of the of, in recent times. You to me are everything, my Alex Oxley Chamberlain. Oh baby, you would say that, wouldn't you? It's good that <laughs> Balotelli's was a good one. What was that one? The oh Balotelli, he's a striker. He's good at darts. Do you remember when he had like he threw darts and he apparently at people. He's still allergy to grass. When he plays he can have it in Italy, isn't he? Is he actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he like firecracker off in the dressing room. Yeah, because he has it. Yeah. He hangs out, yeah. Start giving out money in Moss Side and he's like, hangs out, yeah, Moss Side wallet. So do, are Remember they never going to do to like do a... list after De Bruyne? <laughs> to do list after De Bruyne. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Fucking hell, there will be a to do list after De Bruyne goes yeah. as well. <laughs> Foden to NYC. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Nice. Um, Last one now. <laughs> you always say that, you. It's my catchphrase, isn't it? What's Chaz's catchphrase? Have you heard one? Ethereal nostalgic sonnets. <laughs> <laughs> what do I say regularly? Yeah, yeah. Like, if you all had a catchphrase, that sound is ace. <laughs> that sound is ace. That sound you is got ace. It. Do you want me? You do, do you want me? <laughs> That's fast. Do you want me? You, can you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you need that. Yeah. Hi, lads. Who is it? Matthew Furness. Fucking, <laughs> there, yeah. Fucking hot in here, isn't it? <laughs> Why is he wearing a coat? <laughs> when on one of the episodes you tasked us with being the being the set list, picking maybe I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's a typo. I knew that this was my time to shine as I'm a massive set list nerd, just who just so happens to be a massive Blossoms fan. Anyway, here's my ideal Blossom set list with some of my favourites and some of the regulars as well. 
one O to NYC with the writers theme intro. Wow, uh, so opening with niche O to NYC. Two Honey Sweet, three Oh No, Think I'm in Love, four I Can't Stand It, five Blown Rose, six Bar Wild. How long will this last? Getaway Roosevelt intro, Swimming Braid, Winter's Kiss, Pure Pop, Between the Eyes, Cinerama Holy Days, Care For, Bits Lot of Ribbon Around the Bomb. At most, to kiss your girlfriend. Favorite room, Angels Edition, with your god just half the world away. <laughs> Angels Edition. Visions. Then we go off. Encore. Reason why. To do list with Finley. Charlemagne. Duh. Know your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. So you you went through the list like fucking. And my nose is like about to pop. So. <laughs> Doing Pure this, pop. What's he saying? Doing this also got me curious. What's the process of choosing a set list for each night slash tour like? Especially with the amount of new segues each tour and having an ever-growing discography of great songs, it must get harder to pick which song to play and when. Anyway, I couldn't believe my luck when I got tickets for Club Academy. Might be my oh. favourite ever Blossoms gig I've been to and I'll be looking forward to seeing you at Wimshaw Park. Me and my mate Anthony will be skipping a day at Leeds Festival just for it. It's not oh, the number nice. one yeah, yeah, yeah. vision supremacist and there goes the <laughs> <laughs> Cut away from Tom. That's the mic. Well done. That was hard that for you, that wasn't it? Thank you. you got that, oh, that was difficult that. Well done. Oh, so bless him. He's he's missing a day at Who's on the Sunday at Leeds? Do you know? I don't know. Don't know yet, do we? It's not as good as Wivenshaw Park though, is it? No, it's, on, a, it's a nice email that. It's a really nice <laughs> it's a, no, it is, it's, a, it's a proper nice email. I think it is hard, isn't it, picking set lists? Yeah, it's we're just discussing this, won't we? We've got a few ideas, haven't we, for yeah. going, going forth, which... We're not sure whether to keep it the same this tour, are we? I, 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 mixing it's up obviously each not going to be the same. Every As in keep it. each. Oh, oh sorry, I thought you meant it was like the last gigs we played. You're doing this today, aren't you? Literal. <laughs> yeah, you've been very literal today. Um, no, it's hard to pick the set list with such a discography. And also, like you say, like when we want to put so much into it, like the segues and making new segues and doing that, it's hard to then... It, do you know what the hardest bit is? Trying to get segues that these will go... Like, we usually... We did it, I think the last tour, on average, it's like a block of three segues and then, like, <laughs> yeah, you yeah. move mm. them three about to this three. Do you know what I mean? That's we should the, bring out, you know, like the spinner wheels. Yeah. Bring out a spinner wheel, put every song we've got on and just spin it. And when it lands on, we play that I'd love to, Honestly, I'd love to do some of that on the tour. I think it'd be hilarious. Like, fan interaction like that. Then do, do that we shit play on next? tour. It'd be like, spin the wheel, get someone out of the car to spin the wheel. I think shit, it's wretched feet. Fuck <laughs> 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 oh, that shit, shit, shit. It just drums like that. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was probably weird, that wasn't it? But I'd, I'd, love, I'd love to do some of that. I think it'd be... Hey, I just Tom Bowler. I just think it'd be dead funny. Raffle. Or just like you have to pick a, you have a wheel. Then everyone gets a ticket when they come in, and you do the tumble and go ticket sixty seven, and like Read someone's song. like I'm sixty seven. Like a, like what a song you kiss. It's Charlemagne. Yeah. Like a g- <laughs> gender reveal. We've got loads of balloons. We shoot Tom them. Like, oh yeah, like yeah, like that. Yeah. The colour. Yeah. Tom Bowler's just Tom's head. The barrel in it. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. <laughs> He put the ticket in. <laughs> steampunk. He's, that be, this so steampunk. Yeah, steampunk. We're literally just doing like when we've got like when we have like a meeting about like what we're gonna do. With this, is what, this is the sort of shit we talk about, isn't it? But like, but we with a bit more like scowling, like that. <laughs> a bit more serious. Yeah, a bit more like yeah, yeah Tom Bowler. Tom's games. Well, yeah, no, it is. It is. <laughs> Tom, Tom's games. Yeah, Tom's games. I just <laughs> fucked up. That. We, um, should, we should start the next tour. Bring this over on the stage, and it's like <laughs> okay. We'll see you next time, you guys, and then play the outro, and then it's. Goes, <laughs> the drum kit comes up like, like see how they're all said it's fucking men. Jesus. Right then. So see you later. Send your questions <laughs> in. See send you your send your emails in too. Blossoms HQ.